checking out the S&P 500 futures here on the daily chart. We have three retracements drawn, the primary in pink up to the all-time highs, the secondary here in cyan, which is from the lows back here, December 2018, into the all-time highs. And then we have our third retracement drawn from the all-time highs down into the current swing high, or swing low, sorry. So let's go into a daily chart. <coughs> Uh, we can see that on the move lower, price tested down here into the secondary 50 at 28.57. Uh, got a bounce over the course of the last two or three days to test up here into our target area of 31.25 to 31.42 uh, between the tertiary 50 and that primary 23.6. If we go into a shorter term chart, there we go. Uh, <clears throat> we can see price opened above that tertiary 38.2 this morning at 36.61 to get us long. Uh, on the back of the Fed news, though, we see price spike up here into that red area between 25 and 42, and since then it's basically just been a washout from that area. Uh, expected to see price move lower off of that area anyway. Uh, thought maybe 3061 would support, but down here into the secondary 382 at 2984 again, and this area is certainly somewhere that is a must hold at least for the bulls on this time frame. If we want to, we can put a lower term time frame on from the swing low into today's high. And I only do so to highlight basically my quote unquote line in the sand. For the bulls, it is now at 2961.75, the 61.8 of the bounce. Uh, if we do lose that area, we risk testing down into the point of control from the 28th of February here at 29.03 and then the double bottom at the secondary 50 at 28.57 quarter. Uh, if we do lose the double bottom low, uh, final target washout is down here into 27.29 to 27.52, the secondary 61.8 as well as the primary 23.6. If we are to hold this area as support 29.61 to 29.84, then our targets are the lines above price. One sec. <clears throat> there you go. Uh, so if price is to recover 29.84.75, then our upside targets move to 30.28 and a half, 30.61 and a quarter, and then back up here into 31.25 to 31.42 half. Uh, if we do hold 30.61 after the retest of 31.25. Uh, so something like this, then I would expect us to move in to test the 61.8 of the tertiary at 31.90 and possibly up here into the volume node around 32.20 to 32.40. Um, <clears throat> obviously, oh, no, no. Uh, obviously, we're going to have a lot, or price is going to need to do a lot to get into those highs, um, but certainly just wanted to spell out the overall targets for the uh, next week or two of price range in case anybody didn't see the video this weekend. Um, and then, obviously, we've got Super Tuesday today, tonight, uh, so we may see some kind of wild price action overnight as well. So. I'm not looking to play the overnight session, but certainly a pathway to those who are. Uh, good luck if you do, and we'll see where we open tomorrow.